What's going on, people? Troops TV. Back again. Yeah. It's dead. You get me? <clears throat> Sheffield United won Arsenal nil. Now, that was a unexpected result, blood. You understand? I, I wasn't expecting that one. You get me? I have to be real with it, fam. I wasn't expecting that at all. When I got to the ground, I've already said that when I saw that lineup, I was nervous as hell, blood. I was nervous as hell because when I looked at that midfield and I saw Willock, uh, Gwenduzi and Xhaka, and then you look at the defence, it's uh, Chambers, which I was happy with because he's done really well since he's gone in. Uh, Socrates, who had a decent game. Uh, Louise, who was just, yeah, Louise and Kalazanak. You understand? Now, during the week, Emery's come out and he said that Tierney is ready. You understand? So if Tierney's ready, why ain't Tierney playing, blood? You get me? Don't get that one. The midfield, um, you're dropping Tobias and putting Willock in. And then there was no creativity, blood. You understand? Because we didn't really create. Let's be real. Um, we had that one chance, that main chance in the first half. Uh, Kalazalak, the only time we went forward. Putting a great ball to Pepe. Pepe should have scored, let's be real. For me, he should have gone with, with his right foot. I don't think he should have gone with his left. When you're when the ball's coming across on that side, it's better to let it come across on your right and you hit it. But yeah, we didn't score. And then um, obviously I've watched the game again. So I've seen uh, the two penalty calls. Uh, the first one, Socrates, uh, blatant penalty. You understand? The man's got hold of his shirt. Clearly got a hold of his shirt and the ref was just letting go. Mike Dean, you already know what that wild lad's on. You understand? You ain't getting nothing out of them, man. Then let's be real. You ain't getting nothing out of them, man. Then look, yesterday his performance was fucking shocking, blood. Absolute shit, fam. You understand? I don't even know why this brother still referees Arsenal games because he's a joke, blood. You get me? And then he booked Saka for an apparent dive. But I've watched it back and you can see contact. You understand? And you see when he blows his whistle, the number six for Sheffield United, the defender, goes like this straight away he's like oh my god like we've given away a penny bro like you understand mike dean is given the yellow card then because it's all about mike dean he has to run over and he books freddie you understand and then freddie gets a yellow card being on the bench then the goal come <clears throat> you understand they had about 11 12 corners but you understand hella corners bro i've never seen that amount of corners in a first half game in my life, blood. You understand? I've seen a lot of football, not even like just being at games, watching games on TV, blood. And I've never seen that amount of corners taken in a first half, blood. You understand? Man was literally there in the first half, just like, just like that, blood. Just like that. You understand? But, and, and that's how we were literally playing, blood. It was literally sideways, sideways, backwards, not and forward. But then the goal they scored, you understand? They're defending. The defending is non-existent, blood. You understand? Gwenduzi, he gets double teamed. You understand? And then Magoji has got a hold of him, which the referee don't see. VAR again. You get me? Where's VAR? What's the fucking point of VAR, blood? You get me? Anyway, he's got a hold of Gwenduzi, so he can't jump. Obviously, the player behind Magoji, the Sheffield United players, won it. Knocked it in. Obviously, Chambers was there as well. Louise was there as well. Louise was just fucking doing the samba. I don't even know what the fuck he was doing, blood. He was just doing the samba, blood. You understand? I do not know what my man was doing, blood. Chambers has lost the flight of the ball. You can see that he's watching the ball. He's lost the flight of it. But David Luiz, the experienced one, is just there, running around like a headless chicken, blood. You understand? Side show Bob back again in full in, in full effect, blood. You understand? It's, it's it's true what the Chelsea man was saying to me. It's literally one good game, one bad game, one good game, one bad game, one good game, one bad game. That's how he is, blood. There's no consistency in this brother's game. You understand? Calamity. You know what I mean? You know I mean? Just calamity, blood. And then when the ball's got knocked down. I'm not blaming Xhaka for the goal, you understand? But he, he he could have done a lot better, blood, you understand? Because he's just static, fam, you get me? He's not a man that can swivel on it quick, blood, you get me? He's a stiff youth, blood, you understand? A man like Torreira, who, who's, 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 who, you understand? He's agile, you understand? He has a bit of agility to him. He's not stiff with it, blood. He can move, he can swivel, you understand? Maybe if he was in that position, he could have cleared it, blood. But obviously, Torreira didn't play. Torreira didn't come on, blood. What's going on with Torreira as well, blood? Forget about Ozil. What's going on with Torreira, blood, you understand? What's going on with Lucas, blood, like... 
can't remember last time we started a game, bro. Like, I don't even know what's going on with Emery, bro. Real talk. I think he's burning some low pit, fam. Some low dank. Like, he's come by the Cali with man, fam. You understand? Free up your mind, blood. But, <clears throat> yeah, we conceded a goal. And then, obviously, Emery made the change at half time. He brought us a BIOS. And we looked a bit better. But there still wasn't a lot of creativity, you understand? Because we're playing out from the back. And we're just inviting pressure from Sheffield United. We're not getting nowhere from playing out the back. Especially yesterday, we didn't get nowhere. The one time that we got in and Tobias had a weak volley, which he should have scored, should have got more power on that volley, was when we went long ball, blood. We went long ball straight to Aubameyang. He's won it, run down the wing, crossed it in. I think he gave it to uh, Pepe or, or Saka or one of them. Dave crossed it in and then Tobias with a, with, with a weak volley, should have scored that. But that was literally the only real chance in the, in the second half, blood. You understand? It was absolutely, <clears throat> it was absolutely dead. Dead. It was dire, blood. You understand? Man was bored. Man was bored, blood. This is Sheffield United, bro. No disrespect to Sheffield United, yeah? You understand? Big up my brother, Callum. You get me? Gave me his match worn shirt. He didn't play, but you get me? Got his match worn shirt. So obviously it smells fresh, you get me? Ain't dirty or sweaty or nothing, you understand? But it's Sheffield United, bro. Like, these men came up from the championship. We're supposed to go there and, and not lose, blood. You understand? We know that Liverpool went and win, went and won there and they won in a lucky way. But we're chasing top four, blood. You understand? These are the kind of games... You cannot afford to lose, but you get me? These are the kind of games you have to get the lineup right, blood. I don't know what is going on with Emery right now, you understand? Obviously, I, I kind of understand why Bellerin weren't in the squad. I kind of get that. But you've got Holden on the bench and you've got Tierney on the bench. Why, blood? You understand? If you've got them in, 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 in the squad, for, in the matchday squad, they have to play, blood. You understand? Louise drop out. Socrates goes with Holden. Chambers plays right back. Tierney left back. You understand? Simple thing done. But I don't know what's going on with Emery. There's no creativity in the team and he still don't want to put Ozil in the team. For me, I've already said that Ozil, I don't think he should be in the starting eleven, but he should be on the bench. You understand? We should have him on the bench there. The man's on 350 grand a week, blood. We're literally playing his brother. We're paying his brother to play Fortnite, blood. You understand? I don't even know if Fortnite's still working, blood. You get me? I know my son plays it, but I don't even know if it's the new one. I know that he plays Fortnite. I don't know what Fortnite is. You understand? But we're literally paying his brother to play computer games, blood. You understand? Like, there's no creativity in the team. He can bring creativity to the team. We know this, but you understand? It would have been good to bring him off the bench yesterday. You get me? Martinelli, he tried when he came off. When he came off the bench, you get me? Like a blood class that he brought. He brought fight to the team. He brought, he brought, you understand? A press, a desire, you understand? He looked like he cared, blood. Abba had someone up there with him as well, blood. You understand? Another thing, I don't know why Saka, I don't know, I don't know why Saka stayed on, bro. You understand? Like, I don't get why you brought off Pepe, but for me, Pepe was, was, was one of our best attacking threats going forward, but you understand? Yeah, he should have scored, but going, like he, he, he was doing his team, blood. You understand? He was doing his team. You, you left Saka on, a young man, you understand, still learning his game. You get me? And and you see, in the second half, he drifted away, blood. He drifted away in that game, bro. You understand? He drifted away, blood. It, it went past him, fam. You understand? You have to realize he's a young youth, blood. You understand? He's going to drift away in certain games. Pepe was in the game, blood. You get me? And when you brought off Pepe, it kind of went flat, bro. You understand? And Sheffield United deservedly got the win. But for me, we should have had two penalties, blood. Now I've looked on it. Should have had two penalties, but we did deserve to lose. Looking at Emery's comments as well, blood, after the game. The man's there like saying, oh, we didn't deserve to lose. Yes, we did deserve to lose, blood. We were fucking shit, gaffer. Yeah? We were shit, blood. Yeah? Absolute shit. You understand? I brought up that stat. Um... In Bias Show, you understand? I don't know if Bias Show's out yet, but now, obviously, because I'm filming on my phone, I've got the um, stat on my phone, so I can't access it right now. But I got it off um, MNF last night. Uh, obviously, them and them were doing their analysis at full time, and I did get that off, and it was our way record under Emery since he's come to the club. And it's a fucking joke, blood. You understand? It is a joke, bro. I'm just trying to find this. Um, it's near the end. Just going through. Sorry about this, bro. I literally just remember that now. You understand? Literally just remember that now. You get me? But the away record is shocking, bro. You understand? We've had two clean sheets away from home. You understand? Two clean sheets. I think it was two clean sheets, bro. You get me? I think it was two clean sheets, bro. It's an absolute fucking joke, bro. Like. Crystal Palace have a better away record than us. Like when Emery came in, the first thing we said was we want him to improve the away record for the for the team and, and tighten up the defense, blood. And the away record is is 
is even, you could say it's worse, but if we're being honest, I understand. And the defence looks shaky as ever, blood, you get me? And I don't know, like, what's going to happen, fam. You understand? I don't know what's going to happen, blood. If he, if he don't put in the man that's supposed to play in his team, he's going to get sacked, blood. You understand? He's risking, he's risking his job, bro. Playing these, playing these defenders, yeah, is not working, blood. You understand? You have to put in the man that are there now. You cannot be saying these men are ready, these men are ready, they're, they're, this one's fit, that one's fit, da 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 da. But then you're, you're not putting them in, bro. You understand? You're not putting them in. I do not get that in me, blood. You understand? I'm still, I recorded it, so I'm trying to find it, blood. You understand? I'm at the flipping analysis bit. Obviously, Evera was on it as well. And even, there it is. Even Evera yesterday, blood. Evera was like, um, Arsenal are my babies. He used to say that. I remember that. He used to piss me off, blood, when he used to say that. Oh, yeah, Arsenal are babies, da 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 da. And then obviously when VP went up there, he told them they were babies, he was pissed off, and then he realised that we are. And, and, he, and he said we still are babies from even that time, 2012 times to now, blood, you understand? 2019, n nothing has changed, blood, you get me? And don't, get, don't get me wrong, I'm still Emery in, you understand? But, because it's still early in the season, but the way he's going, he's going he's, he's gonna to lose his job, blood, you understand? Because the, the, the fans are starting to turn, you get me? I, I, I've seen when the tide turns, blood, against managers, fam, you understand? And the tide is turning against Emery, blood, you understand? He is on thin ice, blood. Not, not, not with me, but he is on thin ice, blood. You understand? But this is the record, yeah? Since he's been at the club, yeah? Um, in the Premier League, his away record, yeah? We've played 24 games. We've won eight, drawn six, lost 10, 30 points, two clean sheets, blood. You understand? Crystal Palace have a, have a better away record uh, than us. Same amount of time that uh, he's been in the, in the job with us, that they've been, obviously, same. Like, they got a better away record than us, bro. You understand? Like, Crystal Palace, bro. No disrespect to Crystal Palace, bro. Crystal Palace, bro. We're Arsenal, bro. You understand? We used to go to Chelsea, smack up Chelsea, smack up City, smack up United, smack up Tottenham, smack up Liverpool, win leaves at these man's grounds. And now, we can't even go to Sheffield United and secure a W, blood. You understand? I'm not even going to do a play ratings, bro. You get me? Because the ratings is, is dead, fam. You understand? We could do a quick one. You get me? Leno, uh, Len Leno will get a, a, a four because the, his distribution was absolutely fucking shocking. Uh, Chambers will get a five. Sobzis will get a five. Louise will get a four. Karazanak will get a four. Uh, Xhaka will get a, 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 a 4.5 because um, I gave him a five, but then I'm saying 4.5 now because he just stood there for the goal, in it? And if he was, you get me a bit more aware and, you understand, instead of just pointing and be like, oh, you're the captain, bro, you understand? Lead by example, blood. So Xhaka gets a 4.5. Uh, Guendouzi gets a five. Willett gets a four. Uh, Saka gets a four. Pepe gets a... Pepe, I'd give a five, and Aubameyang, I'd give a five as well, you get me? Um, yeah, major improvements are needed, are needed, sorry. Um, obviously, we've got Victoria's Secret on Thursday. Don't really care about that one. Palace is the game I care about. Sunday, man like Zaha and then man there, Townsend, you understand? The defence, you, you have to pick the right defence, blood, because these men are going to come at, man. Look what happened, look what happened last year, blood, yeah? Look what happened last year, Emery, yeah? You understand? Cost man, cost man top four, blood, yeah? You understand? Don't be doing this now, blood, yeah? You understand? We need to win on Sunday, blood, yeah? We're currently fifth. Luckily, we're fifth. We're two points off top four. It's not too bad. Man United fans trying to write their mouth. Dunn put a tweet out. That man are two points off, off the relegation zone, you understand? Let them man write their mouth. They're 14th, bro. Man has to literally do the Pepe to see their clock, blood, you understand? Don't worry about them, man, there, yeah? But, yeah, man, major, major improvements are needed. Emery, bro, you need to fix up, fam, you understand? Because... You get me? No, I'm not happy, blood. But you get me? I'm, I'm with you at the moment. But yeah, man, you don't really know. Let me know your comments about the game, about Emery, about Ozil. You get me? About Xhaka, about everyone. Everyone. Obama Yang, Lacazette. Congrats to Obama Blood Clark Yang as well. Nominated for the Ballon d'Or. You understand? Um, fully deserved by my Blood Clark Yang, my brother. But you don't really know. Look out for the Victoria's Secret preview. That will probably land on Wednesday. But yeah, man, subscribe to Fuse TV. I'm out. <laughs>